happy for him that he has now made a decision for retirement. Um, but I don't believe that God's done with him right now. I believe that um, in uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, um, God talks about the plans that he has for us, plans to prosper us, plans to give us a hope and a future. And I believe really that this is actually a beginning for Bob, that God really does have a plan for him. And I'm excited to see what, he, what avenues the Lord will use in his life in the future. With Bob, I mean, I really see that he has a real peace about him. Um, he is very gentle and kind. Uh, he would give you the shirt off his back. Uh, you know, him and Lauren has opened up their house and had us over there for uh, some fellowship uh, as our group, along with all of our wives. And uh, they're uh, a great couple and a great example of a good marriage and uh, you know I just uh, love Bob a lot and I really want to congratulate him on his retirement and uh, yeah I don't see him just sitting back in his lounge chair and uh, relaxing uh, he is going to uh, increase his service to the Lord in a lot of new ways and different ways that I'm excited to see uh, how the Lord's going to use him in his retirement. So. We, we met uh, we came to the mob uh, the first week we both had mob together here. It was about five years ago. It was our, the first week that we both had, Bob and I both had with this group. Was this, it happened to be the same, the same Saturday. And we started together. And after the first, after about the second week I left here, um, I walked out in the parking lot with Bob. And I said, wow, Bob. I said, that was really good. And he said, you know, Brian, he said, as good as it was, he said, I think it's just going to keep getting better. To me, the word, the word that come to mind is Bob's faithfulness. I met Bob approximately five years ago through his wife, Lauren, and we were at a dinner. And I remember sharing with Bob about our mob group that meets here at the Birmingham YMCA. And I also mentioned to Bob that there were closer uh, mob groups where, where he lives at in, in the community of Commerce. Bob insisted that he comes to, that he would come to um, Birmingham, which is approximately 15 miles from his house on Saturdays to meet with our group. Bob's faithfulness um, to come into this group um, for the last five years have been um, amazing. To come here in the rain and the snow, and most times he was the first person here um, at our group. And who would have known that after five years that he's now teaching the group? And um, I, he's now teaching this group. I was the lead person for our group, and he took my job away from me. <laughs> he took my job away from me. But, but Bob, I just have to say on the behalf of, of the men in this group, um, our pastor, Pastor Jamie, the Men's Leadership Board at Brightmore, we love you, we appreciate your faithfulness, not only to the mob groups, but we appreciate your faithfulness to Brightmore and to the community where you live. And I wish you the best in retirement um, and looking forward to serving with you um, ongoing. Um, um, in the future. When we were married 28 years ago, Bob had already been with Batesville for five years. Some of you have known Bob longer than I have, and some of you have taken more trips with Bob than I have. With his retirement, I believe that that is about to change. Your friendship, your encouragement, and your support has been a big, big part of our lives for all of these years. We have set, spent some wonderful and meaningful times with Batesville folks as well as your customers whom we have grown to care for. Thank you Batesville for being such a great employer. And Bob, I am very proud of you. You have walked in integrity and have been thankful for the blessings of having good work to do all of these years. As a hospice chaplain, I have learned much from you and from those you surround yourself with about how best to care for the dying and those who love them. 
You have been unwavering in your commitment to God, your family, and to your work. Well done, my dear. There is an article published in 1991 that is hanging on your wall in your office, and it is called The Essence of Bobness. In it, a question is asked. If a bob falls in the middle of the forest and there is no one around to hear him, will he make a sound? And the answer is yes, of course, a low moan. But then he will get up, he will pick himself up, brush himself off, and continue on with his business. In Bob's case, I believe that that fall would be accompanied by a prayer, help me. And then a heartfelt thank you for grace received. Thank you, Batesville, for letting us be a part of the team for all of these years. And Bob, I am looking forward to continuing our journey and our life story. May God bless you and keep you in his care.